Hello everyone, welcome back to part two of the Aquatics DLC for Stellaris. We were here last night, this was a lot of fun. Gonna do it again tonight for a little while. Port these videos over to YouTube. You probably, some of you saw the export that happened from last time. So that was very cool. And we're on, we're live, this is awesome. Okay, cool. This is what I like to see. All right, everyone. Got some windows, got some hotkeys set up a little differently tonight. So here's our empire. Got some unrest stability going on one of our planets, but here we are, we're trying to... We fired off that really, <laughs> that really great relic last night. So the Omni Codex, that was just so awesome to see that actually work. So we're lacking 54 influence to fire it off again, and it's on cooldown for a very long time. So Triumph active. Okay. Be a while before we can do that again. Terraforming some worlds. Oops. And somebody's dying on us. Who do we have? We have this person, and he is a genius with a brain slug host. That's great. Tell you what, you can do that one. Cannot remove a leader on a research mission. Oh, well, let's go find him. Where's he at? Xander Trooper. Hello, Xander Trooper has joined the chat. All right, so can I get you? Old gods, the benefactors. Okay. Zonic is here. You guys show up so fast. It's awesome. All right. I'm going to have to choose somebody else then. This is person person's busy leading society research, physics research. That makes sense. Archaeology. Do I have anybody? Oh, here we go. Brain slug hosted materials. Well, then you're hired. You're hired for that job. What are you doing? You're going over there. Okay. I'll make sure I know what everybody's doing here. The relic world. There's a little bit, oh yeah, slug phobia, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's understandable. Hmm. You need two jobs. Oh, you have crystal mines. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. This is the relic world. You can put those all over the place. Hmm, okay. Cantharin. Hmm. Zero housing, you guys. Yeah, robot assembly plants. Got no housing, though. Okay, let's do this. You're going to build your gene clinics. This is so weird coming back and playing this after I shot the second to last video for the corporate death cult today. And playing an empire that's at the end with big fleets. And then coming back and playing this. It's really disorienting. It's like, whoa, what's happening to me here? A little whiplash. Yeah, so this, there's an arid world right there. I'd like to just terraform that. So, special project. Old special. Gods Shrine to the Benefactress. Deciphering the pictograms of the Benefactress's shrine was a much smoother process than anticipated. All right. Fascinating. So now that guy is. Okay, and he's what level? He's level two? He's level two. All right, tell you what, I'm gonna swap you with this guy. Yes, yes, yes. I know, one level there, get that little tiny bonus. What planet is it saying this is an issue on? Oh, this one, okay. Cause there's all this devastation, asteroid, oh, nice. Yeah, asteroid belt mines. Happiness will expire. Crime, rowdy bunch. Happiness pop goes speed. <laughs> Fair amount of behaving like wild beasts. I think we have. Feral overlord. Where are we at on this? Rooting out the problem. Research that. <laughs> we need to get to that. We need to figure out what the heck is going on there. We can't have that continuing. Okay, so this world, we're going to shrine this one up at some point in time. This one, 
Yeah, we can't terraform it. Lacks climate restoration. The thing to do would be to here's our Omni Codex on it. It would give us some tomb rats, probably. We grow ever stronger. Ever stronger. Hot dog. So this gives us a continental world, Lee Ram. Who would colonize that really well? 200 food? Are you saying we don't have 200 food? We don't have 200 food? Oh, for heaven's sake. Okay, well, let's buy some food. Can't believe we don't have much food. All right. So these guys are 95. What are we as the base species now? But these guys are good. Okay. Well... Let's get to it. Project done. Savage no Spores. Now, the investigation of strange and wild behavior currently besetting Everim has been completed. The vast network of cave tunnels that permeates the planet's crust and enigmatic fungus has been found. It grows all over the caves, floor, wall, ceiling, and stretches out for thousands of miles. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Try to find a useful application. Issue special project utilize the cave mushrooms. Didn't there we do that yesterday? Information in the situation log. Didn't we already do that? Utilize the cave mushrooms. Okay, research. Three months. Give me those cave mushrooms. Let's see. What is this guy doing down here? He's doing nothing else, and there's an anomaly right there. Research that project, buddy. You, yes, grab Starbase. Because there are alloys there, which will be delightful. We have, let's see, three branch offices with these guys over here. One, two, three. I don't know that they have any more worlds. But one way to figure that out would be we to send a... Ever stronger. Would be to send somebody out there to, to take a look at that. Okay. Let's go get this and start terraforming that one. I know, I know, I know. It's going to take influence. Hello, everyone, Theret. Theret, man. Hello. Nice to see you join in the chat. Awesome to be here. Cloud and Strife. Industrial facilities have been built over the outlets for the fungus infesting cave system. And apart from filtering and regulating the spread of the spores, these plants can also convert any excess spore clouds into useful exotic gases. Oh, heck yeah. That's the price of progress. Yeah, you get extra gas plant engineer jobs, plus one for every 20 pops. And pop growth speed, plus 20% on that planet. That's nice. Okay. Awesome. So, and you can see that under features right here gas plant engineer jobs plus two so they should show up yeah they're right there nobody's working them yet that's okay we'll get people there so they're 55 percent stability now we can take them off of martial law be at 50 percent there great got some devastation so we need to fix that we grow ever stronger we can't clear that blocker okay Awesome people here in the channel. This is fantastic. I love it. All right, what's going on with this archaeological site? Minor artifacts found. City of ghosts. Keep going. Can't remember what that one does. Here we go. Project done. Old gods, shrine to the undaunted. After days of activities that can best be termed fiddling, science officer Kirsten Ann has retrieved the doctrine of the undaunted, a textile scroll coated with a sturdy plastic polymer. Old gods, revelation. Okay. The completed doctrine of the gods, for that is what the recovered texts have been regarded as. Dwarfing the fairy tale scraps upon which the old cephalopoda religions were founded is as shockingly revelatory as it is revolutionary. Ther Edmund says, finally watching a live stream. Been watching you on YouTube and learning how to play the game. Thank you for watching. Glad the tutorials and stuff are coming in useful. 
Well, what are my choices here? Suppress the findings, I gain some influence. Monetize the finding, I gain energy cuts. But what can we learn from this? Get a bunch of society research where we walk in the footsteps of the divine. Start a religious renaissance, shifting the empire ethics towards spiritualists. Well, that's what we're trying to do, so we'll do that. There we go. And now, let's see. So we can start the next one. Okay, here we go. Oh, what do we, yeah, adaptability is really nice. Habitability plus 10, monthly food. Mm -hmm. oh. All our planets gain a free building slot. Resettlement cost reduced. Yes, please. Early in the game, that's a really nice one to have. This old man brain is learning lots there, it man. Says, yeah, I can feel the old man brain thing for sure. For sure. Admin capacity. Hmm, where are we at right now? Oh yeah, 5%, we're at 128 over 90. Four, it sounds like your blood pressure almost, but no, that's not what it is. There's the cruiser. Oh, I have, hmm, let's see. Hmm, synthetic crystal plants for the cruiser. Let's go for synthetic crystal plants, but we, any plans for another future newbie series in the future? Um. Gosh, the last one I did was probably, what, 2.8? So stuff has changed. I hadn't thought about it. That yours is the first request that I've heard, Zonic. So, uh, no, actually, that doesn't mean it's off the table. It just means I haven't thought about it, because um, I'll tell you what's been in the works is, and is getting close to being done. 45-year-old brains, yeah. The rat man says, <laughs> yeah. Um... What, what I've been working on is a couple of, of tutorial videos. And the one that's getting close to being done is the one about economies collapsing. Because I feel like that's a place that new players really get stuck. They're up here. Their economy's fine. It's in the positive, And then all of a sudden, boom, it flips over and it's red at the end of the month. When, when it still does all its calculations. And there's really like three or four major reasons for that. But if you are not haven't been playing the game for a long time, you can't, don't automatically think to check those things. So I've got a little video put together. It shouldn't be very long. It should be like a 10, 15 minute video. And it, it'll cover that stuff really nicely for new players. I'm also currently like writing the script for um, a second planetary management video because that's the one I get asked about the most because people want to know <coughs> how I would attack it now that we have industrial districts and how to handle specializations and all that kind of stuff. So that is more detailed. So uh, I'm... It's, that one's going to take a little bit longer. I thought I would never do another planetary management video, but this uh, change here affected a lot of players, and people really want to see it. So since they asked for it, that's what I'm going to try to do. Uh, Zonic says, I just lost a game like one hour ago due to economy failure. I'm trying to determine which decision I made. So, see, and so I think it would be a really useful video for me to get out. Maybe I can get it out this week. I just think it would be really useful for new players to be able to say, okay, my economy just flipped over to red. Here's these these four or five things that color says to check. So I'm going to go check these one by one and figure out what happened. Because um, you can get yourself out of almost all those troubles. Um, so, yeah, look for that video. That's coming. <laughs> and, and a newbie tutorial series is easier to do because I just play and talk very descriptively about everything as I'm playing. It's the tutorials that take a long time to put together because I have to cut and edit videos and I have to go to all my previous videos and look for the right footage and sometimes finding the footage is really difficult. It's like, oh, I need footage of this exact event. Oh, well, where the hell is it? That's one reason why I ask people that are commenting on my YouTube videos about anything, please put a timestamp in because it's really useful for me to scroll through the comments and be like, they were commenting about this dragon, this Leviathan right here at this timestamp in this video at 43 minutes and 52 seconds. Oh, I'm going to go look at that. Um, it, I have to sit here and take notes sometimes when I'm playing thinking about, Oh, this would be good for a tutorial to save. It's putting tutorials together. It's just time consuming. And also because I have to actually type out the whole script. Otherwise, you end up with a lot of speech that sounds like I'm talking right now, which is kind of jumbled and train of thought and all that kind of stuff. And you don't want that in a tutorial. You want it to be slick, smooth. 
The rat man says, I'm at war with a criminal megacorp just to get rid of them as I know they're messing with my economy. Lots of crime. See, yeah, that, and that's the one I had like two or three series ago. I think that might have been the 20, 25 times. Or that might have been the uh, no scaling Grand Admiral playthrough. And that was, I had to go to war with those guys like four times to get rid of them. Yeah, the criminal empires, the criminal mega corporations are just, are just, they're awful. They're awful, awful, awful. I'm gonna grab this planet here so that I can terraform it. And I'm gonna look at this science ship and see what else can you do. There's, oh yeah, that. Research complete. That actually is the Rubicator up there, so we don't want you to mess with that. Go down here and do that project. I'm watching that series. That the Ratman says he's watching that series at present. Yeah, I'm trying to get in the habit of repeating what you folks are posting to the chat because I noticed when I was watching some of the video last night that the chat overlay isn't captured, which is a bummer. So since that's not automatically captured, people can't see what's going on, which is kind of a bummer. And I just need to maybe do some research and see if that's actually possible to get my capture software to do that. So you're down to, you need two jobs. You got two jobs. You need two people to fill those. You got five jobs here. You got, let's see. Hmm. Okay. We may want to build some robots. Can always get rid of them later. We grow ever stronger. Ever stronger. There we go. We got some food now. Yeah, so this guy here. I'm going to take this planet and terraform it to an ocean world. And it's got what? Habitability minus five and pop growth speed minus weak magnetic field. Oh. Zonic says, speaking of Megacorps, I thought of this question as I was watching your Chasing Achievements video today. To avoid the crime, I just don't allow Megacorps to establish embassies on my planets. It's effective, but I wonder what I'm sacrificing thoughts. Um, I, I was wondering about that myself, and I do think that probably is really effective. I think a lot of times when I'm playing, I'm not even questioning should I have an embassy with someone. I think the only thing that you might, um, you'll have to check this, and this would be a good thing to do, but hit F1 and check and see what their approval is like, see what their relations is like, and if they hate you because of it. Um, if it's not too big of a hate hit, and it doesn't cause them to go to war with you, then I think that's probably a really good idea. Just shut the embassy down and get rid of them. These guys, what alliance of interlinked systems is at war with an unidentified empire. So all these guys here are fighting somebody. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, now they're at 97. So there's still oh, we can form a commercial pact with them. Oh yay. Well that's what we want. The Ik Nirval. Okay. And this is same old, same old. Keep digging. So now we have a commercial pack with those guys. The Iknirval. And what I want to do is go here to their actual homeworld. And look. Oh, so they got these funny names. Corporate. What's it cost me to establish? I'm lacking 13 influence. Oh, boo hoo. Um, your economy does benefit from megacorp buildings depending on what they provide. So, for instance, you're going in here to build all these different buildings. Um, what happens is, like, let me get a good one. Private military forms. Oh, no. Let's see. Look, let's look at this one. Mercenary layout. See where it says planet modifier? That's what you get if a megacorporation builds on your planet. The corporate empire modifier means what the mega corporation gets. The mega corporation gets naval capacity plus 10 and army starting experience plus 100. The planet that it's built on gets a soldier job, so it puts somebody to work. And that's it. <laughs> 
Is there a way for me to see that on my planets when a megacorp builds that? Um, yeah. You have the same thing right here, this corporate button. It's gray for me because nobody's built on any of my planets. Um, so you should be able to... It, this, this interface looks exactly the same. Planet summary. Imagine this is one of your planets. You go over to the corporate tab. And you can hover over the buildings and see what it is. So like this. Prosperity preacher jobs. Spiritualist ethics attraction plus 50%. These are things that affect the planet that the building is on. And if you see this one, it says planet modifier, soldier jobs plus one. So you get the benefits of the soldier job, I think, which provides, let's see, this. Planetary defense armies plus three, naval capacity plus four, and there's upkeep. See, so that's that's like one of the best examples that I can think of is this one because it has a clear delineation between what I get and what the planet gets. I get... Corporate Empire Modifier, Naval Capacity plus 10, and Army Starting Experience plus 1. The planet, you, get Soldier Jobs plus 1, which if you go down and look at what the Soldier Jobs provide, they get Planetary Defense Armies plus 3 and Naval Capacity plus 4 from that Soldier Job. So it's the same thing. When you go, a lot of those buildings, a lot of these buildings, just provide clerks. Like this provides two clerk jobs. That's all it provides. Plus, I mean, you know, it produces... So this is another great example. Private military industries. For me, the mega corporation, it produces three alloys. For the person that I'm putting it on, it provides them with two clerk jobs. Well, you can go to your population and say, what do clerks do? They do this. They provide two amenities and plus five trade value and have an upkeep of one food and 0 0.02 consumer goods. So that's it. You get the jobs and the benefit of the job. And the mega corporation gets whatever is in the other category. So, yeah, they're, it's beneficial both ways, really. They're providing you with extra jobs on your planet, which is really cool, actually. Um, but when they're criminal mega corporations, the only way to deal with them is with the old uh, Tony Soprano fade to black. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, it took me a long time to wrap my head around mega corporations the first time I was playing them. I was like, what's going on here? But once you get it, it's like, oh, yeah, I get something and they get something. They get the benefit of the job. This area over here with these. So how, what are these guys? 560 for a space. I'm just going to leave that there. At 90 influence. How long before I can put... A branch office on here. We grow ever right here. Stronger. Cha ching yes. Alright. Build me a building. Mercenary liaison's office. Let's do more of that. Or hmm. private research enterprises, public relations firm. Yeah. Early in the game these research ones aren't too bad. See, and they get clerk jobs out of it, but I get research. So, um, hmm, thinking about that. I also like this. Amusement Megaplex. Branch office value. That's, in, that's useful. I always consider this to be useful in the fourth slot after you've already built some branch offices. So, hmm, yeah, I'm going to put that. I don't have a lot of research on my own planets right now, so I'm going to put those down. They've got some criming going on. Poor people. So what do we have here? They got a planet there. And now since we got a branch office, we can see like everything else. That's kind of cool. Who's over here? Oh yeah, they're the third they're the third wheel and they don't like us. Too bad. So they have one more planet, that's it? Oh my gosh. Okay. So I gotta wait for another 98 boy. I tell you, I mean, I'm doing the aquatics playthrough, so I'm trying to kind of role play in the aquatic style. But what I really want to do is go back through and make a mega corporation that's designed to be the best mega corporation I can. And that would start with having huge, as much influence gain as possible. Um, that would be. 
Oh, and there's a... Let me look at this. I think that there's a civic here that makes it so that having commercial packs is free. But I can't remember which one that is. I wanted to look through here real quick and just see if I... Oh, available envoys and diplomatic way. Ooh. Public relations. Nice. Trading posts. Okay. I'd have to look again and find out where that is. But there's a... Oh, or is it brand loyalty? Nope. It's not it either. Corporate death cult. All right. It might be... Uh, is it an Ascension Park? It can't be an Ascension Park. That wouldn't be any good. There is a way, though. And it, maybe it's an edict. I can't remember. But there's a way to make it so that that... Um, that cost is nothing. That The cost of these. You can hover over this and see... Consumed migration packs plus 25. And commercial packs plus 4. And there's a way to make those commercial packs free. I just have forgot it because you know like 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 the rat man was saying earlier in chat that old brains man okay star base da, 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 da. minerals from miners mining station let's grab that it's cheap it's cheap and roll and so here establish embassy these guys are erudite explorers they i thought we already had an embassy with you guys because we're trading with you oh well so, Research complete. the un United is trans state of the ones who don't like us. Well, I don't have another envoy, so tough. Okay, that helped a little bit, but not a lot. Um, let's grab this. We can make a destroyer now, which isn't super impressive here. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. It's got enough power. It's got it. DB. But we'll have to make some of those. We will have to make some. We gotta be a little bit more powerful. Squid Co. What's this construction ship doing? Nothing. Yeah, I see, and I just don't have influence. The way to play, I can already tell. I haven't played a mega corporation really in so long, and the and the Amway corporate hucksters from the corporate death cult was kind of a different thing in that series that started yesterday on YouTube. Um, it's almost not a it's almost not a, a true mega corporation the way I played it. I played it. I played it more like the hostile takeover people. Um, uh, but I think... It, I think the way to play a mega corporation is to really focus on influence gain. Because you just have to use it for so many things. So I would look at all the different ways that you can gain influence from the start. So that you have it. Because obviously you need to expand into your little into as much as your little section of the galaxy will allow you and then once you're done basically all your expansion after that happens through branch offices and you need influence to set those up so I would take a look at some of that stuff I always get real geeky about building species that's kind of one of my favorite parts is to figure out what's the most effective way to play this. Here, with the squids, I was just trying to roleplay something. You know, it was like, oh, they gave us all these new squid tools. Let's use them all at once. But I could, you know, we were talking about this last night. I can see. I can see how everybody's going to want to play pirates and stuff with this species. It's going to be really fun. Study the strange nature of space and we must study how long? Nine months? That's not bad. What about this here? Asteroid dwelling. Track on map. Go to you. Okay, do this thing. Research project. And then research that anomaly. Okay. Let's try and get my stuff right here. Yeah, so what's this? Study this strange asteroid? I need a science ship present. Okay. 
We search that. I've got an asteroid guy down here. He's checking that out. That's working. Relic. Down to one job. Okay. You guys still have some stability. Why? Oh, because the slug phobia, which only has 997 days left. Yeah. That makes total sense. Okay. What are we uh, building up here? I have three moats, six gases, and three crystals. All right. Let's put another crystal mine down. This planet. Okay. The thing we're really behind on... This has a mix of bureaucracy and research on it. We're just going to bureaucrat it up. We'll take that research off and put it somewhere else. We grow ever stronger. Intellectual booty. What about just booty booty? What's wrong with booty? It's this planet. Hmm. I got some crime going on. That's not ideal. Oh, and they don't even have anything decided yet. That's part of the problem. Pirate treasure? What? This asteroid appears to have been used intermittently as a base by a band of alien pirates roughly 1,000 years ago. A small boarding party entered the base and managed to recover their abandoned treasure hoard. It consisted largely of stolen trinkets and artifacts, but some of it still appears to be of value. <laughs> Energy credits. And an artifact. Wow. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so we haven't even decided what the heck we're doing with it. And this is Camthrin? Where's Camthrin? Because it says it's no sector. Elgate and such. Yeah, yeah. So Camthrin, yeah, because there's going to be a planet here. Let's see. Let's take a look at the sector map. Okay. So these guys are all up in there. So Camthrin would grab that one. That one's here. One, two, three. It would even get this one down here. Yeah, sure. You can be in charge. Create a sector for you. Give you a boss. Let's recruit somebody. Oh, look. Brain slug host. And they like building costs being cheaper. <laughs> that was easy. Somebody hit me with a staples easy button on that one. Okay. Came through. And did we... We didn't decide what we're doing with you, did we? Look, there's a whole bunch of generator districts here. Seven of them. It's going to leave something left over if we did that. Probably need minerals more. Let's just do mining for now. That's if you swim far enough upstream, you get to the source of all your supply chaining, and really, that's almost always just going to be. We'll move the capital later to this planet. This is going to be better. This will stretch one, two, three, four. It'll grab that one. It'll grab one, two, three. This one, grab one, two, three, four. Grab that one. We'll have to move it to. Valdorata there. But if you swim upstream in your supply chain far enough, it always almost always ends in minerals, so that's <clears throat> a ninety-three. Okay, we can build another branch office. We can build one down here. Oh, I need twenty I need more now. I need hundred and fifteen? Oh, because the distance is so great. 230%. Space amoebas forever. Evasion plus five or regenerative whole tissue. Yes, please. Who are you guys at war with? Are you still at war? There's a raiding fleet. Oh my goodness, what's going on? United Istrin. They got a bunch of little tiny ships there. This looks like a, the full border here, so I kind of want to take a Research science ship and head off in this complete. direction. The coil again. Oh yeah, so where's... There you are. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'll move there. Do I want to build that first? Yeah, kleptomatic rats. Hmm. Project done. Not so special now, was Anyone it? home? Death revert. Well. I see there. 
Yeah, there's a black hole. We have to get that too. Do I have any other black holes? Oh, I get this. Rick Six Ma. Oh, but it's on an L gate. That's the worst place you'd want to build a matter decompressor. Oof. Thing you eat you for lunch. Okay, so this guy here. I don't want him to do the rubricator. What I want him to do, uh, he can't get by those guys. And he can't get by here because of those. Okay, it's time to send out the fleet. I want him to go here. I want my little fleet to go here. Well, it didn't go here. Switch this up. Chunk, take that off. All right. Intellectual booty. And this, change to, actually, hold on. Yeah, upgrade your fleet for 100. Okay. Give you some destroyers. There you go. Do that. Blockers gene modification. Oh, the galactic community. <laughs> uh, so there's a steam achievement that I would really like to get. Just because I like crossing things off lists, and what it, what it ha what you have to do, you have to do two things. It's called, uh, I think the name of the Steam achievement is is something like, whatever it is, I don't want to join it or something something like that. You have to decline the invitation to the galactic community and let it form on its own. That's the first step in it, and then you have to join a federation and leave it. I did both of those things in one game and it didn't pop for me. So I went on Reddit and I heard some people also had a problem with it. I'm tempted to just decline this to see if I can make it happen during this game because I think I might be able to join a federation in this game. We will not support the creation of Galactic. Well, let's, I'm just gonna try it. See what happens. It's supposed to form on its own then since I said no. It'll eventually form anyway, if enough people want it to. We'll see. So what is going on here? You guys are being battled over. Oh, somebody's bombarding you. Where are you? Right here. Who's bombarding you? A 3.7k raiding fleet. Oh, somebody's raiding you. Oh, that's a shame. I'd help you, but you know, I can't get through your nasty neighbors here, part of your federation. They don't like me, so. Not that I was actually gonna come help, because I wasn't, but it's the thought that counts. Or so I'm told. Relic. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent. Everything's moving along nicely. Is but how many shipyards do we have over here? Oh goodness. I never got around to building the rest of the shipyards on there. Oops. Oops. And there's a fleet academy. Okay. Oh, and there's a nebula refinery? Oh man. I'm gonna go with Nebula Refinery. Base ten. Produces 12 and a gas. Wow. A special project has finished. Build that. Sleeping crystal nest. Ooh. Trapped asteroid is in fact a crystalline bean's nest. Good that we didn't keep digging. It seemed like we agitated the creature hibernating inside. If we do nothing for a while and study it from afar, it should settle down. <laughs> oh, yay. Great. Research gained. Who opened their borders? The United Eastern State. Oh, they heard me talking about, hey, I'd come help, and they decided to open their borders. <laughs> That's hilarious. Or they're just trying to trap my fleet on the other side, and they're going to close the borders right after that. Hmm. That's uh, the skeptic in me. What are you guys doing over here? Oh, are you going to go try to take these guys on? They're like, we got to get through here. Who are they? Who, is the, who are these? Hegemony of Avonhead. Who are they? Hegemony of Avonhead. Oh, it's these guys. It's the guys we have branch offices with. Are you going to fight that thing? Yeah, they are. Ooh, let's see if they're going to win. They got two fleets. They should be able to do this. 
Yeah. They're going to take it down. Maybe. Yeah, they're going to do it. Look at that. If that doesn't give you... Oh, yeah, he's all done. Okay. They're like, we'll clear the way for you. Come help. <laughs> we heard you talking like you were going to help. So come help. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, my gosh. Guess we'll have to go help. Oh, yeah, those are being built. Let's get a leader. Oh, great. Ship up in range. And he's a brain slug. Fire rate, evasion, ship up. Oh. Just, just perfect. I like these early leaders I'm getting. Very nice. This, though. This is problematic. Stability. Hello. Resources from jobs. Trade value. Slug phobia. How, long, how much longer is that going on? 306 days? That is just... Get rid of it. <laughs> slug phobia. Come on. Look at the benefits we're getting from these guys. Look at this. Brain slug host. Yeah, I need to put some research on this planet, don't I? Because let's see. Let's let's count. Let's do math. Not something I like to do, but... There's going to be three more of these things. So that'll take up three slots. And I have two more left. Which I can put, what? Just some research on there and... Way far in the future. I could put down a... The Galactic Stock Exchange. That'd work. Yeah, so for right now, let's do this. Let's put two research plants here. Let's get some researchers working. The birth of the Galactic Community. So now, if you want to join the Galactic Community, uh, it costs influence. And, and the longer you stay out of it, the less it costs. They so... Wish to speak with us. Okay. Who are these guys? The United Eastern State. Erudite Explorers. Sure. I want to make sure and follow uh, Zonic's advice here. And, and don't... Don't do that when... Uh, if they're a... Evil corporation. <laughs> Avoid those guys. Here comes this... Yeah, heading down there. That's awesome. I'm gonna colonize that finally. Okay, so way down here. Corporations. Yes, established branch office. Oh, I should I should be looking at this before I even do that. Ten. Okay. Yep. There's a lesson for you right there. Has been refitted. Make sure that they have enough people on them to merit doing that. Because like this Tolsberg one too. They don't have enough because they have eight people. These guys have 23, so I got one building on there. It's just that the AI comes along and populates them so quickly. They're like, oh, yeah. I'll grab these branch office spots. And I don't think any of the branch offices help with growth either. What is this? Coral Reef. We have not only succeeded in terraforming it, but we have done something even better. during. Oh, that's right. So, as part of the 3.2 update and the presence of aquatics, there are terraforming events that are unique to each planet. So here, we have not only succeeded in terraforming Ophioglia, but we have done something even better. During the final stretch of the process, our terraforming specialists managed to make it a perfect home for our local fauna, creating a planet eerily similar to Coral Reef. All our local plant life is there, but none of the familiar terrain. This planet shall be known as Coral Reef 2. Second home modifier added given the following effects. Habitability plus 20. Immigration pull plus 50. Wow. Or habitability plus 20, or second home modifier added. So we can leave it. Oh, so you can call it. It's just a name change, but they both do the same thing. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, call it Coral Reef 2. That's awesome. So it's been transformed. Oh, how awesome is that? So it's an ocean world, and it's got this perfect bonus to it. That's nice. Well, heck yeah, colonize that puppy with us, baby. And what is this? Oh yeah, governing ethics attraction plus that. What do we, oh, we got the brain slug host. That's right. We don't want any of these old people. We want everybody to have the brain slugs. In fact, if we go to, let's see. 
We can get everybody to have a brain slug. Can we? Oh, we don't have genetic engineering yet. That's right. It was there. <laughs> and we didn't take it. We'll have to wait for it. Then everybody can have a brain slug. Reminds you of an old Donald Sutherland movie. Research complete. I can't remember the name of that movie, but I believe it starts with an M. I have to go look it up. It's going to drive me nuts. Not, not remembering what the name of that film is. Who died? Scientist? No. Okay, you. Yeah. I'm going to get you a leader. Someone to start earning some XP. Meanwhile, how are you guys doing? You got all your fleets ready to go? We have to upgrade again? Okay. Upgrade again. And you're just sitting there doing what? Nothing new. Technology secured. Go up they here to speak and us. assist with that research. That would be really helpful. Research agreement proposal. No. I need what little precious influence I have. You can't have any of it. Hmm. These planets. Two jobs. So they've got the lesser evil. Pop growth speed plus 20. Pacifist ethics attraction for another 4,700 days. Oh, and this has minerals from jobs. Oh, duh. Build those, baby. Minerals. Mineral ice. Encounter. Yeah, I'd start the first contract, but I need a few more envoys before I can start doing that. The, the shortage of envoys hurts. <laughs> That's another thing, I think, if you're going to play a mega corporation, in addition to having as much influence as you can get and making commercial packs free, you also need a lot of envoys, and the more you have, the better. <clears throat> Okay, so this planet got its branch office there. All right, I'm going to put the research people on there. I'm going to do that one. I need the early research because I don't have a lot of it on my own. And if we went and checked the leaderboard here, what is it? It's Squidco. Our tech level is 554. Their tech level is 398, 271. I'm acting like I'm way behind, but that's because there's only three or four of us on the map, so... I still don't think I'm very hard, far ahead. There are other ones out there, I'm sure, on this gigantic thing that are way ahead of me. Who's this over here? Just empty space. Caravan Asri, Caravan Coalition. Those guys, fun. All right. Well, I, yeah. Get done upgrading here, Bubba. Oh, are you done? You are done. Great. Okay, let's move. Over here. Let's go. Smack these guys around. I should probably start building the second fleet. Shouldn't I? Well... Start looking. What? Defen what? We grow ever stronger. Okay. Barbarossa class. I thought we got rid of that one. I thought I nixed it. Now I did. This science ship is waiting. This science ship is done. There are enemies over here. It can now move into here. Oh, it can move in here. It can now move over here. These guys are still open. That's kind of cool. Um, I almost want him to go explore. Like down in this direction. Go here. I'm going to send you off into space bug land there. Empty space. Go find some stuff for us. Go explore. Go play Captain Kirk. Alright, so what do we have here? 
You guys are growing robots. I know, we're spiritualist people and we're growing robots, but we'll get rid of all of them later. Natural one. Which is actually kind of fun process. <laughs> it's fun to change your policy and say no robots. They get disassembled in a day. <laughs> and then all your unemployment problems are solved. Okay, so I'm what, 140? And we'll build a star base there. 140 influence. Hmm. <coughs> Lots of stuff here. Because I'm here. Oh, yeah, you need amenities, don't you? Yep. You do. What the heck are we researching right now? Intellectual booty. Administrative capacity unlocks administrative park. Okay. That's fine, but that's not what I was really looking for. These fools here. Let's do this. Planetary administration. Let's let that finish. Seven days. Six. New contact. From the Sildor Corporation. They are peaceful traders. Mm. Yeah, they're going to be our competition. Alright, I'm going to unlock a couple of slots here. Because I need more bureaucracy. Ever stronger. They wish to speak with us. Oh, take a huge penalties here. Technology cost plus thirty percent. No. Okay. Establish embassy. Okay, so I'm gonna decline those guys. They're they're not evil, but despotic hegemony. And yeah, I thought oh they wanna offer us see, I thought I could join. Offer association status, sure. So if I join them and then leave, that should should trigger that steam achievement. We'll see. We'll see about it. <laughs> Lee Ram is just about colonized. Features. Let's start doing those while it's colonizing, which is really nice. Nice when you have money like this. <coughs> <laughs> Where are you, slow folks? Get over there. Are these bozos still at war? They are. Nope, they're not. Alliance of Interlinked Systems. A galactic union. How nice for them. They got what? This has Federation Associated Stash with Squid Co. and the new My aliens. New has been yes. Okay. Colony. Give it. Oh, gas extraction wells. Very nice. Let's give it some robots first. And then some growth gene clinics. There's a lot of food here. Might have to go food on this. What do we have here? Oh, yeah, robot, army, and droid workers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crystal infused plating. These guys are just sitting here on their thumbs. Oh, minnows. I like getting those tire blockers out of the way. That's nice. Gene modification points. That's a... Oh, man. So here's the thing about the tire blockers that I found. If you don't grab them when they show up, it can sometimes take a while for them to come back around, and then you're just waiting on them, and you're like, oh, come on, where are they? Election. Who's in charge right now? Hollowed Comptroller. Black Thomas. That's right. Black Thomas is in charge. <laughs> Hmm. Black Thomas is still up. 
age 97. This person's a brain slug host. So is this person over here. Ship weapon damage. Oh, I'd like to just... Okay, we're rooting for Mad Vincenzo. That's who we're rooting for. Come on, madman. Win the election for us. When's it going to be up? 10.01. Okay, so two weeks. <clears throat> the final two-week push of horrible television ads is happening. Oh, yeah. Who did we elect? Black Thomas. We re-elected him. Okay, fine. That's what I get for not having the influence to just elect someone outright. Come and get them. There they are. Fleet engaged. Give them a broadside. Give him a broadside, he says. That's funny. Stick the harpoon in him. Alright, see, and what was I saying? Science ship at the ready. Good job. Okay, now there's one down here. Alien vessels, you guys want to go do this? Go all the way down there. We'll start exploring this. You, move. Move there. Yeah, 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 the bureaucracy. I need more bureaucracy. I'm going to have to trade this science for bureaucracy. Because this, this penalties are killing me. And this may have to be a... Well, what kind of, what kind of world do I have over here? Neither one of these have specific bonuses to research, so let's just do this. They wish to speak with us. Yeah, see? Look. Those blockers out of the way are nice and early. Migration treaty proposal from these guys. The Iknirval. Okay, so. What do they like? The Iknirval. And they like what? Continental preference. You don't bring anything to the table, my friend. So, no. It's like, yeah, but the other people, they like you. All I really want from you is a commercial pack, my friend. That's all. You got two planets down here. That's it. How many people? 25 on that one. And what's on your homeworld over here? Got a good homeworld? 52. Corporate. I need 80 to establish it, and I need a commercial pack. Okay. Well, I knew I needed a commercial pack. <clears throat> this is what United is okay. Form a commercial pact. He says minus four to three. He'll get there. He'll get there. And what do we have over here? Spiritualist is now at fifty two percent. That's better, I believe, than what we were started with. So that's good. And what are their demands here? Empty shells. Oh, that'll happen. Sign up. All those things will happen eventually. I don't have to worry about that. Relic activation is now possible. Well, okay, so we have the tomb world, right? Ooh, do we want to do this again? We may have to do this again. Research complete. This, it would be fun to do. It was fun to do last night. Hyperdrive. Loots from enemy wrecks, he says. Oh, that's funny. Okay, survey that system. And then start moving. Well, that's... That's pretty cute. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm so glad I learned how to set up a mute key. Not only for all the times I'm spending coughing during this broadcast, but also for what's creeping up on my nose. The big sneeze... I can sit at this desk all day, in this chair, 
do my work, then start gaming. I'm totally fine. Wife comes in late at night to go to bed because all my stuff is in the other half of our bedroom. She comes in, she lays down. She doesn't even get to sleep, and I, and I have a big sneeze. And so this has been going on forever. And finally, one night she walked in here, and, and I sneezed, and I told her, I said, you know, I think I'm allergic to you. I mean, it's a joke, but how come that's the only time I sneeze like that? But now she's not here, and it's just late at night, and all of a sudden I can feel the sneeze coming on. It's like, eh. Maybe my brain's just fouled up. That That's probably the most likely option. So what do we have here? This is an arid world, and we could colonize it, but we need to actually come over here and look, right, look at these guys. They want to come get this. That's why. Oh, we can't let that happen. What are you doing? You're going up there. Where's the other one? And he's up there. Okay. You got to rush down here. They're going to try to leapfrog me. I can see it already. Mm. Rat. Move. The computer. That's why they wanted those those enemies out of the way. Now they're going to come over here and be like, Hey, look, we're going to grab this planet and grab all this stuff over here. There's moats. There's row. There's a planet. Yeah, I see you punks. I see what you're doing. <clears throat> Not good. In the meantime, yeah, so... Colonizing this tumor... Well, so we can do two things. We colonize it, or we can consecrate it. I might just leave it for consecration. Communications established from the despotic hegemony over the Quaverdox hegemony. I've had them in previous games, and they were troublesome. Fanatic authoritarian. Okay, well, we'll see what they say about that. Habitability increased by 10%. Yes, <clears throat> please, thank you. Clear blockers. Naval capacity. Off world trading company. Well, it's a good thing to get excited about. The Quaverdox, what, and they the minus 90. Yeah, see, they don't like us. Where are they at? They're way over here, though. They're right there. They're not way over here. They're just over here. Okay. I have these guys as a buffer. That's kind of nice. But I'm a little concerned about this dude. What are they doing? They're just sitting there. Keep sitting, punks. Come take my planets. I'm going to be mad. Okay, so there's stuff over here, which is cool and all. Can I just tell you to explore? Automatic survey. Or the science ship to automatically survey the galaxy. Go. <laughs> Do it. Where's it going to go now? Automatically survey. Good. Do it. Yeah, I'm really feeling the pinch of the old influence. It's like, hmm. Oh, Tolsberg. I can finally build on here. Okay, give me some more of that lovely research. I think I hear crazy cats out in my living room. I don't know what it is about this time of night. It makes them go bonkers they're already little berserk furbies okay so you're just waiting and what's he doing is he really surveying that yeah he's just slow <coughs> he's just a slow boy okay good because mm, this isn't pressing but it is as a choke point because there's going to be somebody here. Somebody's here. Oh, look. It's a tropical world over here. Well, hey, ding a ding ding. Yeah, because who's down here? 
How many people were there? Alien vessels. Can't remember how strong they were. I'm gonna have to go. I just need more. More envoys. New contact. The Galactic Yastun Commonwealth. They are fanatic xenophobes and authoritarian. Of course they are. Okay. They don't like us either. Yeah, you want as many envoys as you can have to play Mega Corporation because you got to make them friendly so you can get those commercial packs. Otherwise, the only other way to really play Mega Corporation is to kind of play it how I did in the Corporate Death Cult and be focused on military so you can just expropriate from the other Mega Corporations. But if you're just going to play it straight, you want as much influence as you can get, as many envoys as you can get. I, I want to. It's just been so long since since I played a mega corporation. I want to go now and like fine tune one into a well oiled machine, and then take it out to into a big galaxy like this and see how many branch offices I can have by the end. <clears throat> Mining this. Yeah, you're doing your thing here. That's good. We're at 160 of 132, so we're getting there. Um, this can be changed to a bureaucratic world since it has more bureaucracy now than industrial stuff. And that's that one. What about this? He's being built. This has some bureaucracy on it, but only one. And nobody's working those jobs anyways. Same thing. What about over here? Oh, nobody's working Technology those jobs. Secured. Now we're over. There we go. That's fixed. Civic slots, yes. And system capital complex. Okay, that's really expensive, though. And what's cheaper is food from anglers, which we're at minus one, so that's a little more of a prudent decision there. Habitats. Let's get the crystal infused plating. Cost crystals. Uh, I don't really need that. Let's do that. More engineering research. A system has been charted. The cruelty of the sin aliens. What just happened? Our explorers knew first contact to be a dangerous affair, but none could have predicted just how true this would be. In a violent assault, the Sin alien seized our vessel, landing a boarding party before emergency fashion light could be engaged. Despite our crew's valiant efforts, the attackers, a mammalian alien species, were able to overwhelm our defenses. Perhaps, fortunately, both for them and the sake of keeping information from enemy hands, our crew took their own lives rather than permit themselves to be captured. However, we must assume that our assailants will soon find out about us by studying our vessel. And that hostilities are inevitable when faced with a civilization that would act in such a manner. Ooh. Worrying is right. Sin alien. So what was it? Is these guys over here? Ah, oh, they got axed over here. Oh, man. Okay, so there's somebody nasty over here. Well, I told them to be Star Trek, be Captain Kirk, boldly go where no one has gone before. That's the downside of it. That is the downside. Squid go. Yeah, so what do they get for building this? They get two clerk jobs. That's not too bad for them. They wish to speak with us. Oh, they do. The Galactic Yastun Commonwealth. Why is everybody on this map a xenophobe and authoritarian? Wow. This is a map full of xenophobes. I should say, goodness gracious. A new port to call home. Yay, Coral Reef 2 is finally colonized. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Give me your robots. Give me your growth. Oh look, and since it's like our home world. The agricultural districts are uncapped. Oh, well, heck yeah. 
Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, well, build build a bunch of fishing jobs there. That's awesome. I like that whole terraforming thing. That makes me want to terraform the rest of these planets. Uh, like, I want to terraform this one even though I'm probably going to leave it. You know what? I am going to do that. I was going to consecrate this one, but I think I am going to... I'm going to terraform it. And see what happens to it. Can't terraform this one, so we probably are going to consecrate this one. Um, in fact, let's just do it now. What do we get? It's a profane world. I think that's the worst one there is. I'm pretty sure. I, I, I never have these memorized. That's part of the problem. Is that I don't memorize them. Okay. Here we go. Uh, just list the levels. The people who, who go into the great lengths on the forums to tell you what these are, I just call it level 1, 2, 3, and 4. They don't use the actual lingo. But I'm pretty sure profane is like the, the least. Because you know, what is it? What's it granting me? It, yeah, it says right there. It's deemed a poor object of worship. And it grants us, <clears throat> yeah, monthly unity plus 2 and many plus 1. They're very low bonuses. So, you know, you can do it later. Tomb worlds don't have... Here's the thing. Tomb worlds have a really low chance to give you a good holy world. And I, in fact, I, can't, I don't think they can even be fourth level at all. Um, which is the highest level. So, it was probably a mistake to consecrate that one. Another one to consecrate for a while would be this one. If we're not going to land ourselves on here because of the rubricator, we could consecrate this one. I'll wait. Because once you colonize them, I think the consecration goes away. And that would be the other thing to do. Oh, yeah. See, there's a planet down here. Tundra World. I'd like to go get that one. Space charts updated. Alright, what do you got? You're still out there. Who are these guys? Planetary Gambit. Unique situation has occurred. Terraforming efforts are winding down. Our terraforming specialists have discovered that it's possible to tidally lock the planet. This occurring naturally can be quite a detriment to a colony. However, doing it during the terraforming process could allow us to exploit the endless solar hours of the day side we'll receive and generate an obscene amount of energy. We would still have to make a concentrated effort to set up the rest of our industry and housing on the twilight and night side. Set this planet spinning again. The risk is too great. Do it. Intentional tidally locked modifier adding. Max ag districts minus three. Max mining districts minus three. Unlocks planet special planetary decision to unlock this planet's full potential. Heck yeah, let's do the unique stuff, man. So it's got this. Intentionally, and it's got a decision. It says it's going to unlock a decision. All right, so colonize this thing. It's an ocean world. Colonize it with our people. And who is, who's fighting who? Where? Where's the Kung Fu fighting going on? Right there? What is this? Oh, right there. You guys finally made it. Great. Yeah. All this time. What the heck is down here? Oh, look. They're like feeding on the sun. Little crystals. Wow, that's really red. And the art in Stellaris. This is Research complete. always very cool. Alright. Pause it for a second because I want to watch that. Uh, regenerative hull, hull tissue is almost done. Hello. 
Okay, so there's some debris there. I need a science vessel. I only have two now, don't I? That one's way up there. Assisting research. Can he get down there in time? Let's find out. You fools. Go home. You are no longer necessary. And you're finally getting down here. Good. We can grab this. Build a star base. Coral reef. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're all like, hey, I need some more jobs. Can you help me with more jobs? Yes. Yes, I can. Squidco. <laughs> there it is. There's our empire. Lirem. Okay, so I'm going to rethink this. I was going to do food on this one, but now I have that coral reef too that's going to have great food. First contact with the Jewel Perfin Trading Consortium. Ruthless Capitalist Trade League. Okay. They're also going to be our competition. I think what we'll do here is go with Industrial Districts. <gasps> they have gas extraction wells. Build a temple and build these things. Oops, we're low on minerals. Wow. I hadn't been paying attention to that, but then all of a sudden it's like, whoops, there it is. Hmm, interesting. Well, how's it been tonight for y'all? Y'all having a good weekend? It's a Saturday. It's a relaxing Saturday. It's the Saturday after Thanksgiving. We're all stuffed. Still. Because we're still eating Research it. Complete. Uh, tomorrow's Lazy Sunday. Great relaxing weekend, the Helms Deep State says. That is good to hear. I like hearing that. Because that's exactly where I'm at. It's been a very relaxing weekend. Been playing a bunch of Stellaris, he says. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Playing Stellaris, baby. Heck yeah. I've been playing a good bit of it. I've been playing more of Battletech. Because I actually think that this career playthrough that I'm doing right now, uh, it's got the best chance of, of getting the Kerensky score. So I'm kind of locked into that. I've had to really nerd out trying to colors fade style of empire where I try to get everyone to love me. See, yes, that's funny. I am that transparent, but yeah, it's that's how I am in real life too, by the way. <laughs> oh, I want people to like me. <laughs> it's just that's the that's one of the worst personality traits to have. Oh, you should just go through life and not care what other people think. It's easier. So here, I'm going to try to get s temples on all my planets. I want to boost my spiritualism. Get some of that stuff off it. Oh, yeah. We grow ever stronger. We grow. Oh, so I should have... Let me look here. Species. This is what I want to look at. So can I, I can't create a template yet? We're missing the gene tailoring technology. Ah. Bummer, still missing the gene tailoring. Okay. Yeah, I hope everybody has a really good weekend because now we are in the, the home stretch of November leading into the crazy month that is December. It's particularly crazy for my family. Well met. I represent the kingdom of Yandaram. Evangelizing Zealots, their divine empire. Great. Alright. More people that we can put branch offices on. The kingdom of Yandaram. Plus 50, they like us. 
Yeah, already like us from the jump. That's great. Form a commercial pact. Except, hmm. Space charts updated. Space charts updated. They wish to speak with us. <laughs> yep. We'll have an embassy with them. We want to get a treaty with them. Go put branch offices on their buildings. That'd be great. All right, you, my friend. Survey. Tell me what's over here. Try not to get eaten like your brothers over here. We've got the Drool Perfin Trading Consortium. They're the ones who were mean to us. Ruthless capitalists. Oh, I see how you're at their mega corporation. Hmm. Hmm. Has closed borders, yeah. Closed borders. Okay, well. There's going to be one group that we're going to expropriate from. We're just going to take stuff from them. Let them set up as many branch offices as they want to. And we'll just take it. Kind of makes us like the Mafia, but hey, whatever works, right? Oh, this has been just a joy to play through, but I'm going to end the stream shortly. So there's this planet down here. Oops. What was that? Commercial pack between two people. This is an arid world, and I want to terraform it into an ocean world. I want to do a bunch of terraforming. These terraforming events are kind of neat. So I want to... Now I want to do a lot of terraforming. Did we colonize this planet already? Yes, good. Okay. Who died? Governor Barnacle Zamira. On the home world. Coral Reef. Okay, Brain Slug. <gasps> There's a research person. Alright, I'm going to re... I'm going to grab the... colony ship. It's great. And what's our trade look like? Nothing yet because we don't really have we only have this one. And getting trade from over here to over here is going to take a little bit of doing. We have to set that up next episode. Get a couple of star bases over here that can gather and pull the trade. Because look, there's 21 there. There's two here. This is only going to get bigger. There's 10 here just off of these. This planet's going to get colonized. This one's going to continue to grow. Stagnant Ascendancy. Enigmatic Observers. Okay, first contact with the Meshben Forerunners. So they're a fallen empire. And they are what? Hmm, interesting. Okay. Well folks I hope everybody's had a good time this is where Squidco is going to hang I may stream a little bit tomorrow maybe I'm not making any promises and then after that uh, at least for the next week this will transition to YouTube videos uh, I really only get a chance to stream when the wife isn't around. She decided to go out of town this weekend to go see her daughter. Gave me a little free time. But a lot of weekends I either have my own kids or we're off doing something. So I just don't have the, the time to stream like I'd like to. But recording videos works. Give a little bit of time to do that. So, all right, everybody. I hope you have a splendid weekend. Make some really good turkey sandwiches and leftover soup and all that kind of jazz thanks for hanging out with me tonight thanks for hanging out watching a little bit of the aquatic species yep you too helms deep state have a good night everybody else have a good night zonic and the rest of you who are signing off i'll see you all later and make sure to make sure to give the corporate death cult Research series complete. that's being launched on youtube make sure to give that a good watch because that ended up being one of the most fun series i've ever played so as usual, dig it. Go to YouTube, subscribe to the channel, thumbs up the videos, all that jazz. My Patreon. Find that. Find me on Twitter. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching, everyone.